Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and its tutorial video for animation designer. In this tutorial we will make the Cyclops model be more elastic, so the animation will look more fluid and we will add some extra hit effect when the Cyclops hit the ground. Ok, let's go! We will use model we prepared in a other tutorial video. So let's load back our procedural rig. And here is the animation on which we were working lately. But let's switch to the new animation and it will be attack combo, which looks like this. So it actually looks nice, but it can be better. First, let's go to elasticness tab and enable elasticness on both arms and check the result. And you see that the arms now are floppy and too much floppy, so we can dump it a bit to get more desired result. But always check the animation with a play preview, since the extreme values sometimes are working better than it seems. Let's also enable elasticness on the spine. At start let's make it a bit more subtle and let's check how it looks. So you see that there is a lot of more fluidity in the animation, but when monster is hitting ground, the arms are falling through the floor. Let's identify this moment in the animation and it's here. And we can fix it by automating the elasticness amount to be like zero in this time of animation. We could go with it for each limb, but we have also global elasticness curve here. It will change intensity of elasticness on all limbs. So let's make global elasticness value zero in this positioning animation. Let's see if it actually works. And yeah, we can adjust it a bit to still keep some of the fluidity on the animation. I will just quickly tweak it a bit more. And all right, now we can add something extra to the pelvis, so lower it a bit more when creature hits the ground. So let's go to eye case, let's find the position in the animation, and it's here. Let's move whole pelvis lower for like this amount, and let's enable legs to keep them on ground instead of falling through floor. Right, it works. Now in this clip time we want to move pelvis down. So let's use shortcut of holding left alt and clicking mouse on the curve rectangle to add key in the current animation preview time. So we will move pelvis down in the moment when creature is touching ground with the arms, just to add some additional effect to the hit. Let me quickly adjust it. It's kinda hard to notice, and you probably can do it even better, but thanks to this I will show you another trick. Now let's switch to the modificators, and let's fix the arms going through floor again, but right now it's caused by our pelvis going down, not by elasticness. So let's just add some spine bone. And let's find time and animation which we want to fix, and it's here. So the arms are just slightly going through floor, we want to fix it, and using the rotation, again hold left alt and hit on the curve rectangle to add key in the current time of a preview. And with it we will apply this spine rotation correction only in the time of animation we want to do it. And it seems it will work. So let's check how it looks. And yeah, it seems everything is alright. And now the last thing, 
We'll add some arms hitting ground jitter to empathize the hit ground moment a bit more. So let's add forearm, modificator, let's rotate it a bit and it will be probably something like this. Let's work with an animation curve. So we want to apply this rotation probably like this. Let's adjust it. So it should start here and fade a bit longer. All right, let's do it slightly different. I will quickly adjust this curve with a preview. All right, now it looks nice. So let's do the same on the second arm. And let's use actually the same curve. So let's save it in a Unity curve window. Let's add it. And we will use similar angles, but probably one axis will be symmetrically reversed. Yeah, and let's use the curve from the second arm. Let's preview it and yeah, it works. Well, all right. You see, you can spend more time to make it look better, but this result is okay for me. Let's compare it. Yeah, I like it much more. Let's export the animation and let's do one more comparison with the original animation. Let's drag and drop model. And there is our animation. And the original animation. Yeah, and that's it for this tutorial video. I hope it was helpful for you. You get some ideas how you can work with animation designer. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, subscribe to see more, hit the bell for notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye bye!